Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Gonzo from Jose LaQuest. What is it? It is a device. It's a holdout device that uh, is secretly placed onto your person that allows you to vanish and reappear uh, small objects from your hand or your spectator's hand. Uh, it's a really cool, very creative device, uh, very magical, very invisible, and uh, you wanna see what it looks like? This is it. All right, so that was Jose LaQuest. Uh, you might remember he also did a trick called Strip. Uh, Gonzo is self-published. I heard originally it probably was gonna be released by Paul Harris, but I don't know, something in that got fallen through, and so now it's just a, a self-published effect, but it's pretty cool. So, a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic tricks, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? You get a big box. When it comes to you, it's in a big cardboard box, it says Gonzo right across the top. You open it up and then inside there's a leather fanny pack. There's like a leather hip pack pouch thing. It's a belted leather satchel and uh, it's totally useless. I don't know what you would use it for. I guess you can keep it in there while it's also in your magic kit or in your drawer, wherever you keep your magic tricks. It protects all your components, but I don't know, it seems like it was just an added thing that I didn't need to pay for. And then there's a uh, really nice cardboard sleeve uh, that has your DVD. Also, you're gonna get a couple of little extras, um, some little tweaks uh, that you can use or add to your Gonzo gimmick to customize it to your specifications. Is it what I thought? I didn't really know what to think. Uh, the video is very mysterious and it's very magical looking. And so there's only one angle shown in the video. So it was hard for me to kind of come up with a concept of what it could be. But when I got it, it wasn't like I was surprised. And I was like, wow, this technology's never existed before. Like when I saw it, I was like, oh, okay, it's that. How are the angles? Uh, the angles are about the same as a raven. Okay, about the same, but a little worse. Uh, you really uh, can't have people on your sides. This is really a trick that you're gonna do one-on-one -on -one for somebody. It's almost the same, I'll say it is the same uh, angles as the reality twister, where you're having somebody look straight down uh, at an object, and so that's kind of your angle. It's really good for video, really good for one-on-one. -on -one. Can it be inspected? There's nothing to inspect. Uh, if you do the trick cleanly and goodly, do the trick right, what's the spectator gonna ask to inspect? Your hands, your sleeves? I mean, you should be able to just go, look, nothing, you know? And so, there, yeah, there's really nothing to inspect. Hey, what's the overall quality and production value? It's great. Uh, it's shot in HD, you get lots of multiple angles, you get lots of uh, camera uh, behind the scenes. Uh, he gives you all kinds of ins and outs. The video is incredibly uh, long uh, and, and they just go over the top to just teach you as much as possible and I think you're getting your money's worth here. 
Is it well made? Absolutely. Uh, just holding the gimmick and, and looking at its construction, it's all made of strong components. Um, there's nothing in here that seems flimsy or breakable. And if you take care of it, I could see it lasting you a really long time. How much practice does it require? It's going to be the same practice as any other holdout device. I mentioned the Raven earlier. It's going to take that kind of practice. Uh, you're looking at your angles, you're watching your vanishes, your reappearances. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to take some practice, especially just kind of like knowing your environment, uh, looking in the in the mirror to see uh, your angles and some sensitivity. But yeah, how much setup and reset is there? Uh, set up initially, it's going to take some, especially for the very first time, um, getting the Gonzo gimmick to be customized to your uh, specifications, okay? Um, once it's on, it's on. You can wear it all day long. Uh, you will know it's there. It's not going to just, you're not going to forget it's there. It's not one of those devices where it's so light or so small. Uh, you'll know it's there the whole time. Um, but reset is pretty quick. Um, you could probably do it in front of spectators if it's well rehearsed. Positives. Positives are it's not limited to magnetic items like the Raven is. Um, and you can also do reappearances, which you can't do with a Raven holdout. Um, and it looks very clean, looks very visual, looks like solid magic. Negatives. Hey, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, tall people, okay, if that's you, you really need to watch your angles. Okay, I would see a disadvantage to people who are tall, but everyone needs to watch their angles. Um, the gimmick could have a tendency to talk um, as you bring it out or put it away. It could, so that's just something to consider. Is it worth your money? It's 90 bucks, $90, that's a lot of money. I wonder how much less it would be if it didn't have the little leatherette carrying case. I would have liked to not have had the case and paid for that part of it, but I, I guess it probably was like an incentive like, hey, we'll just, they probably didn't even cost that much to make, I don't even know. But yeah, 90 bucks, it was kind of on the high end uh, for what it does, but hey, it's clean magic and it looks good, and if you like it, you might think it's worth the money. Who's gonna like this? Video performers, people just starting out in magic that wanna do a really clean vanish, uh, people who do street magic, I think would definitely love the Gonzo. All right, so that is my review for Gonzo from Jose LaQuest. I'd like to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this for us so that we could do this review for you. If you'd like to purchase your own, you can head on down to your favorite Murphy's Magic supplier. Thanks. Bye.